Hello, it's Jay here again, and welcome to another video. So, in this lesson, we're back with the day night cycle. And apologies, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video for this series, but unfortunately, I will admit time has just gone away with me just recently. So, anyway, I'm back now. And let's get into this lesson. We're going to start, we're in the player health script. Now you can put these variables anywhere you like. I'm going to put them here. First one of type public int underscore minimum wetness. We'll make that equal to zero, close that line off into the comments. defines the minimum wetness value. So that's what we're going to work on today. We're going to get some of the basics in place that's going to handle how wet the player is. You know, if he's standing out in rain or if he's beginning to dry off because it's been raining and it's now sunny. And it will take a few lessons to get in place, but uh, let's just continue on and get some of the basics in. Again, of type public int underscore maximum wetness. We'll make that equal to 100. We'll close that line off into the comments. Defines the maximum wetness value. And yes, this is very similar to the health. Next, we can create a type private bool underscore player is wet. Close that line off into the comments. Creates bool to define if the player is wet. Next line of type private and of type float this time underscore wetness change modifier. Close the line off defines wetness change modifier value and we'll continue on um, in fact I will make these public for now so type public float underscore current wetness close that line off into the comments defines the naming convention for the current player wetness public float underscore current wetness bar length let's close that line off into the comments defines the length of the player's wetness bar. Okay, with those in place, let's come down and I think I'll put these in the void awake. You could put them anywhere you like in the function. I'm going to put them here, underscore current wetness. Now that's going to be equal to the underscore minimum wetness to begin with. That's because unlike the health, we're going to start the player at the minimum. The player is dry on game start up. Set current wetness to minimum on start up. We'll come below player is wet 
and we'll make that equal to false. Again, in the comments, uh, player is wet to false on start up. And let's come to the void update. I'm going to put it here in, the, in between these other two pieces of code. We're going to say underscore wetness change modifier is going to be equal to the underscore current wetness divided by 50, close the line off. And as always, I suggest you start with this value, but of course, feel free to change it to find something that suits your project. And in the comments, we're going to put wetness modifier equals current wetness divided by 50. Come to the line below, underscore current wetness bar length is going to equal the current wetness. Close that line off into the comments wetness bar length equals the current wetness and now we're going to come to here the manage core temp function and we're going to come directly below that. We're going to create a type private void. And put in manage core temp then. No, it shouldn't be. It should be alter. Let's give it a naming of it. We'll just say temp dry actually, I think. Let's open and close brackets. I was typing managed core temp because I've just said it there. Apologies. Let's enter there and we'll just change that to wet. Obviously, you could change temp to temperature if you want. Uh, yeah, in fact, I'm going to do that because we sometimes use the word temp for temp values. And we're not doing in this case, so actually i think it will be better to use the full name and we're going to come to manage core temp right at the very top we're going to say if open and close brackets inside those brackets we're going to say player is wet is equal to false let's get that into the comments if player is wet is equal to false, will come below. Alter temperature dry, open and close brackets, close the line off. So we're just calling that function. We'll just copy and paste the naming convention in there. Let's copy all of that if block, we'll paste it in. And we're just going to switch out the naming convention to alter temperature wet. And in the comments as well. Obviously we need to change from false to true. And we also need to change the comment also. We're actually going to cut all the code left in this this function. We're going to paste it into the alter temperature dry function. It seems to have messed up my comments, but I'll sort those out off camera. We're also going to 
apply it to alt temperature wet and here so where it says current play core temperature plus equals slow core temp change times time dot delta time we're going to add another times feature underscore and it's going to be the wetness modifier now you will need to copy all of that including one of the times functions we're just going to paste it in to every line here now you can have if we come here where we alter it when the player comes into safe core temperature I'm going to leave mine changing the same of course you can just add the same here if you do not wish that for your project but that's how I'm going to have mine and slow temp change value in the comments times change modifier now this is getting quite long I'll probably break this into two lines I'll probably enter here in fact I'll do one how I will do it. I don't really think it's necessary to go over the others. I'm sure you're capable of doing that. So we're going to say then increase temp. Probably end, edit out that. And we'll just edit it out the front of that part by slow temp change modifier. And I'll probably go ahead and do it for these. So I think we'll leave it here for this lesson. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.